going on guys? Curly Susie from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Welcome to What I Ate Wednesday. I love watching these videos from other YouTubers, especially when they're people that eat really healthy and has some like super easy, quick like snack and meal ideas. So I'm shooting a video like this again. I used to do these in the past and some of you really liked them and some of you didn't. Um, so I'll make sure I will label this video in such a way that you don't click on it by accident. But anyway, this is gonna be a video where I show everything that I ate over the course of a day. And I eat very similarly every day. The other thing I wanna say is that I eat a very basic diet. So like I don't follow any type of a diet like keto and I don't eliminate carbs. And I still eat sugar and I eat a lot of healthy food. Um, and I just really focus on like eating healthy and portion control. So I'm gonna show you what I ate over the run of a day. Today I am off work. My kids were in daycare in the morning and at summer camp because I was shooting YouTube videos, I was shooting a hair video and an update video. And then I'm picking them up early and we're having people over swimming. So anyway, without further ado, let's rewind and we'll go back to breakfast. I've been eating the same way for ever. And I usually work in the morning and at my job, when I work, I get a break at around nine o'clock. So whether I'm off or I'm working, I typically eat two breakfasts or I eat my breakfast in two segments. And how I started this, I have no idea. But basically, when I first wake up, I'm not starving, but I am hungry and I'm somebody who likes to eat like pretty much as soon as I wake up. Um, and then when I get to my break at work, I already ate breakfast. So if I ate like a whole breakfast before I went to work, then I get to break, I'm not hungry at all. And I just pick at something and then by the time I get to lunchtime, I'm starving. Or if I don't eat first thing in the morning, then when I get to my break, I'm starving. Um, so I like to kind of break it up. So the first part of my breakfast is always oatmeal. Sometimes I have like Cheerios or something random or shredded wheat. But um, I would say like six out of seven days a week I eat oatmeal and I've been doing this for like, oh God, 20 years. So it's just regular Quaker oatmeal and I eat about a cup. If you're just starting to eat healthy, you could measure it with a measuring cup, but I have a pretty good idea of what it looks like. So I have about, I don't know, like a cup of oatmeal. And to that, I add about like a tablespoon of this. It's just like chia and flaxseed. It's good for your digestion. It has healthy fats in it, blah, blah, blah. Oh. I do measure that because I keep a measuring spoon in this little bag. Um, then I add brown sugar to my oatmeal, about a teaspoon. Right, La? Yeah. And sometimes, especially when I'm on my period, if I'm craving chocolate, I put a little bit of cocoa powder in it. Um, I also put cocoa powder in plain yogurt sometimes because it gives it a chocolatey taste. I used to use Splenda a lot, but it's, I don't know, sugar and fake sugar is bad for you. And I find eating fake sugars makes me crave sugar a lot. So I went back to the brown sugar. It's not very many calories. And I don't eat a ton of sugar, so a little bit's not gonna kill you. I just add water to this and I put it in the microwave for 60 seconds. I will never ever get sick of eating oatmeal. It just makes me feel good. Breakfast number two, whether I'm at home or at work, is usually one of two things, one of three things. It's when I eat like protein. So I'm having plain Greek yogurt, like fat-free Greek yogurt. Um, where's the protein? 19 grams of protein in three quarters of a cup. And let's just face it, I usually eat about a whole cup. So I have either this and fruit, like fruit cut up or an apple. Um, sometimes I'll make this chocolatey. And when I do that, I do use Splenda, I'm sorry. But I put like a big scoop of cocoa powder and some Splenda in it. My dog's gonna start barking at the mailman, I'm sorry, but 
Um, I either eat this for the second part of my breakfast, or I have like scrambled eggs and an apple, or boiled it, two boiled eggs and an apple, or I make this anabolic French toast that um, I got off of Greg Doucette's website, or off of his uh, YouTube, I should say. I sound like my mother, she calls everything a website. I eat like two pieces of bread almost every day. I'll take two pieces of this, and I dip it in egg whites, and I make French toast out of it. I just use Pam cooking spray, I make French toast out of it, I put cinnamon on it, and sometimes I'll use sugar-free syrup, or like low sugar syrup, I should say, which again, isn't the healthiest, like when you start using the fake sugars and stuff. And I try not to do it, I try to do it like once every couple of days, but I do love this French toast, but that's not what I'm having today. Ah, I'm gonna do the cocoa powder in Splenda. Oh, it's so good. Tastes like chocolate frozen yogurt. I'm so excited. What a hypocrite. I don't put Splenda on my oatmeal and I'm putting it in my friggin' yogurt. It is 10.30. Um, I just ate like my second part of my breakfast, which is normally what I would do at work if this was a work day. I eat the oatmeal in the morning and then I eat something with more protein in it and like some fruit and stuff normally um, or I eat that anabolic French toast I was talking about I normally eat that at around 9 30 ish so it's almost like I have two breakfasts and then I don't eat again until lunchtime and I'm gonna really try hard to film this video today and make it like look as good as possible but I, I am gonna have a house full of kids and people swimming so sometimes I'll show video of me eating and sometimes it'll just be videos of the food but I'm going to try to keep it as real as possible. Stayed the night when I had a sleep and um, get picked up on the way and like then I didn't see my kids. Like, all that Pizza, stuff yeah. right but honestly I had so mm -hmm. much fun. Yeah, good. Yeah. 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 So that was really, that's the only real like getaway. Like, you know, as a family, we don't have anything. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bop, 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 bop. So, next Go year. Next year. Next year, I'm going to cap it at 15 and just cap it. Because, like, the last two years, yeah. Yeah. And this is like a wedding booth, too, I think. I don't think it'll always be like that. Um, so next year. Um, nom, 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 nom. For lunch, I'm having tuna fish sandwich. Tuna, mayo, tons of black pepper. Oh yeah, classic. It's about 1.30 and I'm making coffee. So this is the coffee I have been drinking. Oh, mommy's gotta clean the floor. Yeah, clean it. Oh, the house is messy, eh? Yeah, let's clean this up. Okay. I'm gonna do it this is what I use for coffee cream. It's pretty good. For supper, I'm just making some whole grain brown rice. We have barbecue chicken in the fridge and it's very common for us to have chicken breasts already cooked in the fridge. Like anytime we cook chicken, we cook like at least double um, what we actually need for that meal. I'll make some broccoli. So like broccoli, brown rice, and chicken. And like my Rice and chicken will probably be kind of plain, and I'll put some kind of like a sauce or seasoning or something in the kids' rice and Jeff's rice. Like, my freezer is a mess. Brown rice, broccoli with like a ton of cracked pepper on it, and some leftover barbecue chicken, and um, Dave's hot sauce. And my supper is pretty plain. Chicken, rice, and vegetables, 
It sounds boring. It sounds like, I don't know, like a bodybuilder's supper or diet. But I really enjoy this and I always eat kind of plain food. Like it's very odd for me to even like put sauce on something. Are you ready for the parenting fail? Will and Hank are um, watching TV on the computer while they eat supper. Will had a ton of broccoli too, but he ate all of his broccoli first. Both my kids ate all their vegetables. Hey guys. And Will's having rice and Hank's having leftover orzo. And they're both having chicken. And Jeff had to eat and run, but he had orzo and chicken too, and broccoli. What? Want some watermelon? I have an iPhone 8. I'm like, this video quality isn't too bad. Um, I'm not running because Kyle hurt his paw like a couple weeks ago and it is getting better, but it's not 100%. So I'm gonna walk up some hills. And then I usually only eat like one more thing and then it's bedtime because it's like seven o'clock now. <laughs> the perfect end to a run. What a day. He's a Spider-Man. Are you Luca? No, he's a Spider-Man. Okay, Will Spider-Man. Yeah. And who are you? Hank. No, like what's your costume? Uh, um, Luca. Yeah. I'm going to wrap this video up in a second. Um, I kind of quickly calculated how many calories I ate today just because I was curious and it was a little bit on the low side. So I probably only ate about like 1500 calories today. Um, and so after my walk, I knew that I had to eat for sure, especially because I got home around like 8.30, 9 o'clock at night and I plan on staying up late and editing tonight and it's late right now. So um, when I got home, I had a couple of like egg whites scrambled and I made like eggs and I put a little bit of cheese and hot sauce on it and I ate that. And I know that sounds like a little bit weird, but I didn't eat enough protein today either. So I wanted to eat something that was filling, that had protein in it. Um, and then because my calories were low and I knew I was staying up for a while, I made a whole bag of uh, Smart Pop popcorn. So this is the Orville Redenbacher Smart Pop. And I think like the President's Choice ones and all of the other like low um, fat, like they don't put as much oil and salt and flavoring and stuff in them. I think most of like the blue menu or the healthier popcorns, um, they're about 240 calories for this like whole giant bag. So I made the whole bag of popcorn. I'm going to eat the entire bag of popcorn. Um, I eat popcorn a lot. It's full of fiber. If you pop your own popcorn, it's amazing. It lasts a long time, so like you're snacking. It's just good for you. Better if you make your own. So anyway, that's what I ate today. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this video up, but I wanna say three things before I go. Number one, when I really look at what I ate um, in today's video, it is a good representation of how I eat but I would say I eat like that 85% of the time. And then 15% of the time I eat like treats and whatever. Like uh, today I had my friends over and there was junk food. Like there was like Oreo cookies and all kinds of stuff like that. And I do allow myself to have that kind of stuff. I just, today I had like a healthy eating day. So I didn't have that today. So I, I eat really healthy, I would say 85% of the time. It's really good to leave yourself some room for treats. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say was that if you do calculate how many calories you eat and you're eating like a super high calorie diet, like let's say you're eating like 2,500 plus calories a day or 3,000 calories a day or something, like I have no idea. 
And then you watch my video and you're motivated and you're like, oh, I want to like eat really healthy and eat a healthy amount of calories. It's really important not to make any drastic changes. So if you go from eating, you know, 3000 calories a day, let's say, to following my diet or like following what I did today, which was under 2000, that's a huge gap. Like that's a huge deficit compared to what your body is used to and you're going to be starving and it's just not good for you and it's going to be really hard to maintain and you're going to feel like you're dieting and you're going to be really hungry. So whatever you decide to do, if you want to start eating healthier, just make sure you do it gradually. And that's another good reason. It's good to know kind of how many calories you eat because you don't want to make like a huge, huge change all at once. You want to reduce it um, a little bit over time. So that's all I'm going to say in this video. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can give it a big old thumbs down. Uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.